All right, guys, so we went and picked up a uh, small collection of vintage toys here, ranging from like the early 90s through probably the mid 90s. So let's get this stuff inside. Let's go through it and see what we have. Hey, everybody, John here with Sergeant Reds. Thanks for joining me today. Today, we are in the shop, the ruins of the shop, the ruins of the old novelty shop, which will be and is currently being renovated, as you can see. Um, into the toy shop, but we did pick up a collection the other day, so I figured I would come here and I kind of sort through it and get stuff cleaned up. The stuff here is, it's early 90s, it's stuff from probably like 90, 91, maybe, maybe tail end 89 stuff um, through probably the mid 90s. So, a couple boxes here, a gentleman found this stuff in the attic and uh, didn't want it, so he sold it to us. Um, so this stuff is attic fresh. So what I mean by attic fresh is it's dusty, the boxes aren't in the greatest shape, but they're still cool toys. So let's check them out and see what we got. And while you're here, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you could leave a comment with a thumbs up, we'd really appreciate it. And uh, without further ado, let's check out these toys. All right, guys. Apologize uh, for the backdrop of this very, very scary uh, crank. But that is what we have for today. Um, he's going to be displayed proudly in the shop once it's open. He's going to be, he barely fits. I mean, his head's almost up to the ceiling. That's how big this cutout is. But um, we picked that up at the shop in New York we purchased. But anyways, let's start with this collection. So we got Bucky O'Hare. It's a really cool line. It didn't last very long. Um, but like I said, I mean, it's sealed, but this thing is, I mean, it's beat. It is attic fresh or basement fresh. Um, this thing was not really lovingly packed. So one of the things I do is when I take these out of these old cardboard boxes is I'll put them, uh, I'll clean them up and get them sorted. And, you know, some of this stuff, obviously, um, you know, like this one here. The water world water world was not a super big toy line um, but the card is open but the, everything's there so the figure is going to be in mint shape but the, the box is just kind of toasty i remember watching that movie I don't, I don't remember much about it but it's kind of eh, eh in my book so you got this battle squads again see i use the tripod and i bump into it but uh pretty neat Last action hero. This is cool. So this is Slater's convertible. Um, I haven't seen this movie in a while. It's a good movie. This was what ninety. This had to been like ninety two maybe when this movie came out. All right? Am I wrong? Am I right? I am. Well, we'll see. If the toy came out ninety three. So yeah, the movie was probably ninety two, ninety three. Um, probably ninety three since the toy was. Oh, I have one of these already. So it's a. It's actually a model kit. It's pretty cool. It's a huge tarantula now the box on this thing is crushed again but the, the model inside should be good amt uh gigantics that's a huge tarantula getting ready to eat this poor lady and oh, i thought he was taking a picture uh, but he is holding up his arms in fear like he's going to get eaten by a giant spider uh, let's see this is like a i guess it's just i don't know is this taco bell kfc pizza Hut? they're all owned by the same company so that's why never mind disregard but that's some kind of a giveaway not sure what it is in there so we got some Spider-Man. Again, these are like the Toy Biz. I mean, I don't want to call them junk era, but they're not like super expensive like some of the stuff you'd find in the 80s. My opinion is that people saved everything from the 90s, seeing what figures from the, the 80s and 70s values did once uh, they weren't open. But this was $2.97 back in the day. So Sequest, there's another little uh, monogram model. Where's this from? Uh, I don't know. Looks like Big Lots, maybe, with that orange tag. Okay, so we have... Like I said, these boxes are toast. So this is similar to that Taco Bell one. So that thing is going to be... I guess they're just little figurines in there. There's old uh, Jar Jar Binks. But this stuff is dusty. I mean, I'm going to be going through a box of Swiffers, cleaning it up. But still, you know, they are neat toys. I know they don't have the same kind of value as uh, stuff from earlier years, but it's getting there because people who are now... You know, we're kids in the 90s are starting to remember this stuff and want to buy it and, you know, relive their memories like those of us who played with toys in the 80s did. So I think eventually that stuff will kind of start ticking up in value. Probably not to the same extent, but you never know. So here we have a Robin model. It's pretty cool. They got a Robin, Batman, and Superman one. I think this is the only one in here, as far as I remember. Uh-oh. Yeah, one of the Spice Girls. My brother was in love with the Spice Girls. He didn't want to admit it, but he loved them. So you got a little uh, itty bitty Spice Girl doll inside of there too. So does the little itty bitty? No, I was gonna say does the itty bitty one have an itty or bittier one, but it does not appear to be so. Um, here's a Matchbox. So we have this stuff looks like it's all maybe was all clearance, 
clearing stuff from like big lots or something back in the early 90s. Power Ranger Zero. Zio, rather. So what era were you guys kids and playing with toys? I don't want to say what era you guys playing with toys, collecting toys, because I know a lot of y'all still collect toys, uh, as do I. So were you like a 90s kid? This is stuff you remember playing with when you were younger. Are you an 80s kid, 70s kid? Let us know in the comments below. I'm kind of curious to see you know, how many people from each generation are uh, still into reliving their childhood. To me, it's just like memories from when I was a kid. It's just, you know, those are some of the best memories I had, uh, obviously. But... curious to see what you all think um, or where y'all were at when it comes to this stuff like i said water world is another one of those we have what three boxes of these things starship trooper and i remember this this had to when was this wasn't i in the let's see was i yeah i was gonna say i think i was in the marine corps when this came out so yes yeah, so this was in 97 so i was already uh in the core so this stuff goes up to well here's the swamp thing have the evil unmen dr demo that's actually a cool figure Hopefully that cleans up pretty nicely. This guy is from, is he 80s? No, he's 90, so. Looks like we have stuff, this is 90 all the way up to 97 so far. Curious to see how far up this goes. So we have more Kevin Costner here in Waterworld. Ride of Venom. So this figure's cool, I mean the box is toasty. It might flatten out once I get that thing uh, laid out, but the bubble's cracked. But still, it's a really neat figure. The figure's in great shape. Uh, the box, however, is not. I find that a lot with these Toy Biz figures for some reason. Like, people would buy them and save them, and they just kind of threw them in a box. Well, this is cool. We got a Jurassic Park, uh... I'm going to try to pronounce that. Amar Gospinus. Amar Gospinus. I don't know. I don't remember that one from the movie. When is this from? This is from 1998. So, Chaos Effect. That wasn't a movie. I, I remember watching the first and second Jurassic Park, and then I didn't. I don't think I've watched any of the other ones. Got the uh, old speeder bike guy here. They crash into a tree and explode on Endor. And last but not least, in this box, we have Old Oscar the Grouch. Living in his trash can. From Telco. All right, let's go into box number two. So this figure is actually probably one of the more valuable out of this collection, um, this Rage Cage Hulk. So for those of you who know, there was another Rage Cage Hulk that was like a Toy Biz one back in the early 90s. This one was um, from the movie, I believe. Or this came out in conjunction with the new movie. But it's never been opened. He's wobbling around there. I don't think it's been opened. It's And it doesn't have any tape, so. But it does have like a box in there with pieces that's unopened, so. Pretty cool figure, but you know, it didn't have any plastic wrap or anything on there, so you got attic nastiness in there, but still a cool piece. I will get that thing cleaned up and uh, see if he works. He should. Uh, some Star Wars again. The boxes did not get much loving, so you know, these Star Wars figures, most of these newer ones aren't super valuable, anyways. The sealed ones versus the loose ones. You know, you're probably just better off uh, opening these up and just selling them as, you know, brand new loose figures. This is not, you know, they don't display nice the way they are. A couple more of those little Star Wars uh, Taco Bell figures here. So we have, this thing is dusty. We got the hook, the tri hook. So I guess it's something, uh, You'd wear? When did the hook come out? 91. So some of this stuff is like right on the cusp, so I don't remember if it was like actually from the 80s or from the 90s. Um, that's some more of the Star Wars stuff. They're, they're neat toys, they really are. They're just uh, not super, super valuable, especially in these conditions. This one's actually not in too bad a shape. Uh, what is this? Rebel Laser. Uh, Rebel Forces laser game. Not sure what that is. Okay, it's like a like a handheld game, I guess. Never seen that one before. Got some Star Wars micro machines. Darth Maul here on his old Sith speeder. Oh, 
That was pretty neat. A little micro machine x ray so you can see the inside of them. Uh, more Power Rangers. I was never really big into Power Rangers growing up. It was like the last thing that would come on with Saturday morning cartoons, and it was kind of like the cue for me to just kind of go find something else to do. That's a little talking arcade bank. That's pretty neat. Box is a little toasty, but. Still there? The box took the brunt of the damage so the figures could live on. I've never heard of Action Man before. I don't know if that's just like some kind of knockoff or. No, oh, Kenner made that, huh? 1996. Oh, I was in boot camp when this thing was released, so that's probably why I never heard of it. And again, that time frame, I really wasn't into toys anymore as a kid. That's neat. Alien Resurrection Aqua Alien Hasbro Signature Series. Again, Attic Fresh Box, but figure's good. Here's something I've never really gotten into. Um, Obviously, there's the Barbie dolls. So this one here, you know, it's the Star Trek one. I don't know that that's worth anything. Most Barbie dolls, the modern ones, I know there's some that are worth a ton of money, um, but a lot of the mass-produced ones just don't have a lot of value to them. I bought a collection of them from someone down in Virginia, and my buddy came up and visited and brought it to me. I just remember pricing them all out and everything. They're just not super valuable. Um, again, I know there are some that are valuable, but most of them aren't that I've seen. Got this Lost in Space fella. Just try me. Yeah, his battery's toasted. Old KB toy exclusive there. Not exclusive, but uh. Ugh. Glad rats and chews open, but not much better. What? Okay, this is cool. I actually have this opened. Um. So we have Flabber and the Hillhurst House Monsters. From uh, these are Beetleborg figures. So you got the little ghoul. I love these monster figures and these kind of uh fit into that classic monster genre but uh, I actually picked up a collection of these that was with like a haunted house uh, at a garage sale once those are neat that's pretty cool figure. figures and last but not least we have Boba Fett Slave 1 now this box is destroyed I mean this thing was probably I don't know I don't know but um that's cool Shadows of the Empire one. Again, this thing is, you know, the box here is just destroyed. But hopefully the uh, vehicle inside is not. So we'll find out. Some of the stuff, we guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Would you rather those be open and just sold as, you know, put them together or, you know, the figures together and all that stuff, or sell them with a nasty card? Where, what would you rather buy? Would you rather buy it in the box still, even though the box is basically destroyed? Or would you rather buy them as uh, loose figures? While you guys are thinking about that, I'm going to pack this up and get out the third box. All right, guys, did you have time to think about it? I don't think you did because while I was doing that, time was still moving for me, but this was paused, so it probably just seems like it kind of just poof. So anyways, let me know what you think. Um, some of these, obviously, I mean, like this one's just, this is destroyed. This guy's coming out of the card. It's it's nasty. It's There's no way to save that, but the figure's good. So something like this is something I would just rip that open and... Uh, display it in an open form. Like, uh, we have another Spider-Man here. Wind attack Spider-Man, because, you know, Spider-Man likes to fly around on the ocean with his little, uh, frickin' water cannon and, not jet ski, but whatever that thing's called. Surfboard with the sail. I should know what that's called, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. So we have this fellow here, the uh, Death Star Gunner. He's cool. This, uh, this card might be salvageable. It just looks like it needs a little dusting. But then other ones look like that uh, walrus face there. That is just toasty. Same thing with this fella. Like this one, the, the attic one. It beat the cardboard box, but uh, luckily it saved the figure inside. So we have another Princess Leia here. Again, she's just, the box is just destroyed. But again, the figures are fine. I mean, this stuff's just, these are basically going to get ripped in and put in a uh, clamshell. Probably not a clamshell, probably like a uh, baggie on these guys. Uh, what is this one? Blink. Another toy biz, uh, like X Men, New Mutants type thing. And we have Darth Vader. We got this fella, uh, Weak Way. Some more micro machines. And guys, uh, some quick updates while we're going through this with the shop. 
what we're waiting on right now is I have to go before the planning commission um, in the city to show them the new design and all the stuff we're going to be doing here at the shop, and we have to go and have them uh, approve our plan. So while we'll be, we're going to be getting some more stuff done this evening uh, in the shop, getting some more of the uh, interior stuff done, we are on, on hold until the city approves our plan, which hopefully they will. Uh, this building definitely needs a facelift and needs some loving. It's been sitting for a long time. Uh, it's been, I think the latest thing I found inside this place was from 1992 um, of the old merchandise from when it was a novelty shop. So there's a Venom from the Batman, or Batman, Venom from the Spider-Man animated series. Although Venom vs. Batman would be pretty cool. Ooh, cool. All right, Pirates of Dark Water. That's neat. Hercules, the Legendary Journeys. I like the show. I thought it was a good show. Xena was okay. I liked Hercules better though. Ultra Force. Dun dun dun. I don't even know if that comic book is still in existence. I remember when a lot of stuff came out though. Here's cool. Night Quest Batman. So these Legend of Batman figures are pretty cool. You got the uh, Dark Rider Batman on the horse. Future Batman. We got the Borg ship mini playset. I hope I'm not borging you guys. Just go. Okay, I'm, I'm done with the dad jokes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, let's see. We got Bayou Jack. Another swamp thing. This line is cool. I like that swamp thing line. Wish they would have done more with it. Like this guy. That's That thing got wet somehow. So that one's definitely getting ripped in. Uh... That box is going in the trash. So have another water world. It's funny how they make these toys for, like, they're geared towards kids, but the movie was more geared towards adults, but I guess they were doing that with all kinds of stuff, like RoboCop and Rambo and all that um, stuff. So here we got Battle Squads again. Most of these guys, these things are, like I said, this is going to be, the majority of this stuff is just the boxes are toasted because of the way they were stored in the attic. So if you have this kind of stuff and you're going to store it and go get it later, and, and hopefully it's going to be in good condition. If you don't store it well, this is what happens to it. Um, so make sure you're putting it in totes, just packing it properly. So when you do go to get it out later, it's uh, not looking like this. A couple G.I. Joes in here, so you have Sergeant Savage. This is a Jungle Camo D-Day. When did these ones come out? 94. And then we have Speed Burning Attack Cycle with the Urban Attack Dynamite. And we have one more. Sergeant Savage here, which is the Arctic Stormtrooper. It's pretty cool. And last, but not least, figure in here. Okay, this is the newest figure in here. This is actually from 2005. Um, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. General Grievous. Grievous. All right, guys, anyways, let me know what you think uh, or thought about that collection. So you got my setup a little sneak peek behind the scenes action of what goes on here in this uh, construction site while we're trying to get everything ready. Uh, let me know what you think with that collection there. Would you guys prefer having those carded figures and try to clean them up and display them carded? Or are you more of the, you know, let the figures out, let them breathe, let's uh, display them in all their glory as they were meant to be outside of the case? Um, let us know in the comments below. And uh, I have to take down my Christmas decorations and start getting some stuff uh some stuff done in here. We have the heating and AC guys coming um, what, tomorrow, so we need to get this room over here um, where the bathroom is going to be where I was just shooting that video. We have to go underneath and shore up some of the um, the joists down there. And I'll, I'll do some video showing you guys what we're doing just so if you want to keep abreast of what's going on in the shop and kind of get an idea how everything's going. And, um, you know, we'll give you updates on when we're hoping to get this place open. So, anyways, guys, until next time, Sarge out. Thanks for watching.